Okay. Man, the fans have spoken. And the fans, want, you guys. they wanted to hear from my man, Zab. So, so yeah. I delivered. Uh, how you doing? I'm doing excellent. Doing excellent. Uh, I'm coping. Out, out there in sunny California? Sunshine, baby. <laughs> I might, Sunshine. I might, I might join you because I can't keep, I can't keep fucking with this. This winter's a why? Why? I can't. I don't know why. You know, growing up, it's oh the nightlife, all that. But once you get past a certain age, who cares? What's the purpose of working hard for? Right? Yeah. That's what I said. Yeah. What's this? Is of working hard for? Accomplishing all your dreams, doing sacrificing to still come outside. And, 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 and be miserable because the cold yep it makes, you, it makes you miserable to get up it does and yeah to get up in a negative or yeah. even a low single digits Se double digits like that's very really cool they call it, it's seasonal affective disorder when you get down because it's freezing yeah i don't know yeah yeah so it's crazy so i'm talking to <clears throat> the last unified Undisputed, excuse me, welterweight champion of the world. So, as you know, we have a fight for the four belt era. You're in the mm. three belt era. Three belt. Welterweight championship. So, I got to ask you, and I know you've been asked this yeah. a thousand times, but I want to hear it. Who you got to be the next undisputed welterweight champion of the world? Well, like I said, these are, we're dealing with two of the greatest of our era. But right now, fighters on the planet, yeah. and you got to be very com. You got to be very easy at how you talk about you picking these guys because it's very hard to pick. You guys are not pickable guys. These these are not like oh him. Just both of these guys uh, 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 come to the ring with super high accolades, super high accomplishments, different divisions. You know what I mean? So when you're dealing with a guy like that, you know, we're dealing with two two what we can call masters of today. You know what I'm saying, right? You can say that clearly. Two masters of today of our timeline right now, the greatest, the best. Got to be very easy at how you approach and say, yo, him, he, he going to win. You know what I'm saying? Because there is nothing that either one of them do better than the other. They both spoke good and Speed, both good and power, both know how to knock guys out, both got mean streaks. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, we've seen it. So you got to be very skeptical and cautious when you approach. And so for myself, I want to wait to the way in. I want to see, uh, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want, I, I want to see who who put that work in. Damn. Um, from from so, Brooklyn to politician. Now you're, that's a politician answer. What you mean? That, that's, that's kosher. That's True, real. man. You, so you don't, you don't, you're not leaning towards one guy. No, for real. I study both of these guys. I, 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 I love both of these guys. These guys are two of my favorites. I've always so, said, I always said Crawford was a fucking monster, and everybody knows since Earl was in the amateurs, I've been rocking with him. I was like, what? Sure, look at shit. He walk, he walking guys down, stopping, stopping them in the amateurs, I'm body shots. Killing so, okay, so let me ask you this, and let's get let's get deeper into what you said. You said you're going to wait till the weigh in. What about the weigh in? Yeah. Are you what What about the weigh in? Will you see that will make you maybe pick because somebody? the weigh in shows the body. The body does not lie. When you work hard, it shows. Not saying that neither one of them going to work hard. I know they're both going to work hard. So they're both going to be in shape. But if you know, and I know that look. I can't explain it. It's that look. When you see it, you like, okay, yeah, I'm I'm Raul Holmes. You know what I'm saying? Because you know that look that that you know, we've been myself, I've been in championship fights, so I probably can look look at the look different than other people can. I'm looking for the drainness, for the you know what I'm saying, who looks the more the plump, the the, the you know, the more comfortable at, at making the weight, because that means a lot too. You know what I'm saying? This is whoever gotta you know, do a a lot of sucking down and a lot of draining. It's not. It's not good in this fight. Like, you got to be comfortable and solid in this fight. So I'm looking mm. for that. I'm looking. I'm looking for. I'm looking for just a couple of different other things that I'll keep to myself and and that I just want to see. And I go, okay, that's it. That's my pick. Well, let me ask you this: a, a lot of people are talking about 
the apparent size difference, whereas Spence is supposed to be taller and a bigger frame. No. So have you have, you, have no. you met them both in person? No. Yes. And is yes. there a size difference? Yes. Okay. And is it significant or something small? I, I, I don't think that it makes a difference. Okay, why not? Because they both, these are the pros here at the top level. They both know how to adjust to any size, any level. They can adjust to that. These are not like new guys that just coming in that's never seen a tall fighter before. Like, oh, oh my God, what do I do? No, <laughs> these are, you know, yeah, like, you know, you know, um, you know, I, I mean, uh, Earl Spence happens to be the bigger fighter, the taller fighter, you know what I'm saying? But Crawford's not no small guy. And he's known to break down the bigger opponent anyway. He's known for that. He's known. And Earl is known for smashing smaller fighters. Small, You know what I'm saying? Guys are smaller. He's known for that. Smashing, smashing guys his size. Mm. He's known for that. You know what I mean? So both of these guys have great capabilities. So when I saw, so when guys put into the factor the size difference with, with skills like these guys got, no, that doesn't make a difference. I, I agree. I think size, size can be a factor, though, if the fighter knows how to use it, right? Of course. I mean, it can be a factor, but, I mean, let's put it on the, on the real side. Earl Spence is the bigger guy. Terrence Crawford would be the smaller guy. Cameron Crawford moves well, well, phenomenal with big guys. Think about right. About right. That. So, right. Yeah, so, no, so I, that's not going to be That's We're not going to start putting that into it because that's going to detour us from what we're really looking at. <laughs> and and, and look, mean? as a fighter, I, I don't look at that. Yeah, and, and I I don't think I'm just putting the question out there. I don't actually agree with that. I don't think size matters at all. I've seen it myself in the ring. Size doesn't matter. Um, it can if one person doesn't know how to deal with it. Yeah, but for the most part, it doesn't mean anything. Um, right. Okay. okay. So what, what about there's another thing that people talk about the switch hitting. Now, I asked mm -hmm. Derek James and he almost he damn near blew a casket when I asked him. He got annoyed. He was like, he's sick of hearing about the switch hitting. That'll make a difference. Do you think the switch hitting will make a difference and, and, and act towards Bud's favor. Because um because 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 it's 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 it's, it's been put out there. I I believe that it's been it's being prepared for. It's been being prepared for. So everybody knows what preparation creates greatness. You know what I'm saying? It creates so 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 so, you know, now when it was a secret and people didn't really see it or know it was coming, then you can't prepare for something you don't know about. But now you know about it, so I think it's a fact that I don't think that's going to be a, 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 a big factor. Like I said, we're dealing with two pugilists at the top level, both of these guys, yeah. top, top level. Top, top level, level pugilists. What? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So do you see this at all being like a Hagler Hearns where they're just going to bang it out? Because I don't. No, you think hey, no. technical? No, very, very. Come in, fill out, prepare for the early round fill outs. Do you see any any threat of this being, dare I say, boring, where they're too technical? Uh, no, no such thing. These guys are tech. This is technical at the highest level. Remember right. That. Right. Always right. remember I mean, when you're dealing with, when you equating the fighting ability. This is at its high level, so it's speed, power, agility, all that shit coming at you. So don't don't look for nothing boring. This is cannot this 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 does not have the makeup to to be something boring. You know what and I mean? That, no way. Right, and I think that's what makes this fight so amazing is because we all we both know that either guy could end it at any given second. I mean, that's what they've done in their previous any, fight. Any second. W would any you be second. Would you be surprised if this ends up being a knockout? No, hell no. no. How, how could you? No way. <laughs> well, because both guys, no their will, because you know, right? I mean, mental, boxing is so mental, and these guys both refuse to fucking lose. You said what? I said these guys, their will is so strong, and boxing is so mental that these guys both refuse to lose. So I'd be oh, surprised. Yeah, both refuse to lose. yeah, I'd be no, surprised. No, no, I wouldn't be surprised. Because, see, you got guys punching with the greatest. The sharpest of the sharpest, the power of the power, the speed of the speed, anything can happen. 
anything can happen. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I and mean, Mill Mill said Mill Mill City said it's gonna go the distance and it's gonna be it's gonna be a war to end. That's what I agree on. I agree. On. I, I I mean, but can a knockout happen? Do these guys possess the ability to knock each other out? Yes, hundred percent. We can't. We cannot. We cannot take that away from the from the equation of the factor. That is, a, see, that is a super super number one. Factor. The way I look at it is, I think that the fight will there will be no knockout. I think at at best at worst scenario there could be a stoppage, but it'll be something where the ref or the corner. I don't think I, a fighter either of those fighters have it in them to not be able to get up or to be stopped. I don't see that. I think it's too high, too high level. Baby be different. I'm a fighter. Tell me. Takes one Tell punch. Me. Tell me. Takes, okay. Takes one punch. You come from the school of one of the greatest. The people yeah. Who start, you know, one, one shot. <laughs> yeah. But, but I, I also yeah. know like mentally, you're right. Though. Look, yeah, you're right. Look, it's, it's, it's boxing and, and anything could happen. That's true. Anything um, can happen. Anything can happen. But, but I'm isn't the that mind saying no. Yeah, but isn't the mind frame, so before you had your first loss, your mind was like, nobody's ever knocking me out, ever. Nobody's ever, right? And the even, mind frame. Even when, even when I had my loss and after that, you still got to have that mind frame. Right. It doesn't go like that. Right. It doesn't go like but, that. You, you, yo, you got to. You know, you know, to me, preparation is everything. And that's why I want to wait to the weigh in and watch. It still comes back down to preparation. Because when, when you watch the body, you watch it, you can't stay. One thing about life is everybody on here know right now, you it, you can't run around and say, I got a membership in the gym. And you look like <laughs> you never seen a gym ever. You know what I mean? It don't go together. You know what I'm saying? It don't go together. So that that means you, you might got a membership and that's it. Now, going is another factor. You know what I'm saying? So right. That's why I want to see the body. I want to wait to the. I want to wait to the weigh-in to see what both guys look like. Both game plan will go out the out the window at the. No, no, no way, Mills. No way. These guys are too solid. Of guy, bring in Mill City, please. Bring in Mill City. I'll bring him in, in a second. Um, okay. You know what though? Because the problem is this: people think that Hearns and this is going to be Hearns and Hagler, and that's what happened. Like, I, I interviewed Hearns, and I was like, yo, so was your plan to box? Awesome. And And Hearns goes, yeah, my plan was to box until Hagler jumped on me. But I don't see either of these guys going the way Hearns did and just losing it and just going all out. I think they're going to no. stick, stick. Oh, but stick. see, that's that's nobody's game. Nobody, see, you see what you just said? Nobody's game plan is to lose it. Losing it is something that just happens. Okay. Like, you okay. – you, you, you can't control that. You cannot control that. I'm gonna tell you right now. We all prepare for the good. There's no fighter that go into the ring expecting to lose. Not not right. guys that I know. Well, not guys at this level. Well, not, not losing. No, there's but, nobody I know. Well, here's what I'm saying, Zab. Not losing, but when your ego and your pride is touched, and somebody's in front of you, you're like, oh, this is the way you want to play it. Let's do this. So they're intending to knock the guy out, not to lose. So they're like, fuck all the boxing. I'm gonna take care of this guy right now. You get what I'm saying? Anything can happen. This is body boxing at its finest. So, do you think after this fight, do you think that Boots would be ready to fight the winner? I don't. I don't think that's Boots' plan. I don't think his plan is to go right into the like, like, like. It's. it's I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I can't speak on that right there. You know, Boots is my man. Boots is good. Boots is nice. You know, this you, is you top, 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 top. This is top, 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 top. Championship. Legendary. You think he needs a few more fights? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't see, I don't see it being a, a rush or a factor. What's the rush to get in here? What? I don't get it. I don't get it. You, you, I don't you, think you, a... it's a, it's them and then it's you. What? the rush relax be there everybody yeah. else up around you take everything else around you you know what i'm saying yeah Take two three more and then yeah but but that's that's not a rush fight boost is nice there's, boost is nice. there's also there's also a good chance that these guys will be tied up rematching each other for another year a year and a half if, if it's close enough or whatever well, you know what I mean? everybody else it's, 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 it's everybody else out there and you can go ahead and go on to and, and tangle the language 
Right, right. So who would a who would a, a prime Zab Judah be more, more tailor made between those two? Let's say you were fighting them in your prime, either of those guys, who would fit into your into your hands better? Who would you What do you mean? Who would be who would whose style would, would be more tailor made for you to come out and beat between those two guys? Like you mean if, if I you were, fought them? Yes, in your prime. Um, it doesn't go like that. It doesn't go like that when you're a fighter. It doesn't, doesn't just, you know, there's no fighter that thinks there's no fighter can beat them. So you just know that out the gate. So that, you know, that, that that's a very trickery, trickery, <laughs> trickery well, question. There's, yeah. there's not one fighter you look at. There, there's like, no fighter that, that would say, you know, hey, yeah, that guy would beat the shit out of me. <laughs> like, no, no, I, like, I don't mean I, that. I mean, like, who would be, I mean, like, I mean what style, like, would would be better for your style, if out of the two, if any? You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, who'd you match up better against? Both, both of them. I mean, both both of them are good. Both of them possess everything. Let like, I'm, I'm 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 boxing possesses right now. They are both good boxing punches. Both of them. They and so were you. And boxes, so were you. And, yeah. And so yeah, were you. Yeah. Same thing. Same thing. But you know, I don't I don't compare myself with them. No, okay. I don't. There's no. There's no, um, you know, I see a lot, a lot of resemblance. I see a lot of resemblance of myself in those, in those, in those guys and different things that they do. You know what I'm saying? The uppercuts, the jabs, you know what I'm saying? Different kind of abilities that both of them possess. You know what I mean? But, but no, do I? Mm, no. Okay. Okay. I had my okay. time. I did my thing. The guys that was in my zone, I handled them. You know what I'm saying? You know? Who did you who did you wish you could have fought that you never fought back in your time? Wish now. I think I fought everybody that I was deservingly supposed to fight. I mean, there was a couple of fights that happened that I mean that was talked about in my situation that never happened, you know. I would I would appreciate you know, the fight with me and Oscar. Okay. That would have been There dope. you go. There you go. You know, I mean, uh, that was my first defense um, when I won the undisputed, you know, that was the first guy we offered to, and you know, and he didn't take it. No, he didn't take it. So. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Wow. Could have been um, busy. So could have been tied up. Could have been. I don't know. But we was definitely one forty seven, one forty seven at the same time, and that was the first offer. I mean, there's a few guys, right? That that mm -hmm. you didn't fight that would have been fun. Trinidad would have been fun. No, Trinidad wasn't my way. Oh, Trinidad it wasn't. Trinidad was, no, when I was forty seven. When he when 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 I was forty, he was forty seven. He was doing all that shit. Okay. When okay. I got to forty seven, he was gone already. Remember, I was. Oh. I was I was undisputed. Tito was always champion at weight class. He was always a champ. Right. You know, he was. Right, gone. right. He was gone by the time I was there. Where was Chavez Tito's at? Man. Where was Chavez uh, at when Chavez, you were still? No, Chavez yeah, when you were was done. Nah, Chavez, Chavez was done. He was already he done. Was the, yeah, he was done. Chavez was done when I was young. He was a legend. Who did, who did you look up to coming up? Was there any fighters that you really watched and you really took stuff from and learned from? Any any all time greats? Anything like that? Of course. Pernell Whitaker, Marvin, oh. Marvin Hagler, Mike Tyson, Sugar Ray Robinson. Those were the guys that I studied. I studied those guys and I made myself from those guys. I took little bits and pieces from them. You know, yeah. Zad here, uppercut there, this one, you know, defense, this one aggressive, and this one that. And I put it all together. And, if I'm, and you see, ta -da, super. <laughs> if, if I'm remembering correctly, uh, uh, you as a young fighter came in and Pernell Whitaker took you under his wing, right? 100% pro debut. I was following Pernell Whitaker when I was 15 years old. Oof. Yeah. And, and first time I went to his camp, was no joke. Yeah. Wow. And, and, and Sweet, he, was, Sweet, Sweet Pea was no joke. He would give you tough love. Sweet Pea was tough love. You know, Sweet Pea was gangster. What he kind of gangster tough with it? He, he, what, yeah, what do you mean? Like, right? what kind of tough love? Like, meaning you got to earn your keep. In order to be around him, you got you to gotta earn You got to earn that. You got to earn that ability to be able to hang around Sweet Pea. He ain't there with no chumps. Wow. No. Yeah. Stay I mean, serious with it. If you got in that spot with him, you might not. If you, you ain't come with your A game, he's going to try to get you up out of there. I've seen him get guys up out of there <laughs> yeah. and talk shit to them. Like, what? Show ass up out of here. Like, yeah. Good guy. Damn. Good. 
good guys. Guys that I ain't put about a spot. Good, good guys. Guys today, today that turned out to be great. But yeah, for now that was no joke. When was the last time you sparred with Pernell? <coughs> like, how old were you? Sparring, mm, I don't remember. I was, I was. Uh, remember, I, I turned pro with the, with the Duvers, and I was my pro debut was uh, opened up for Pernell Whitaker. And I fought on all of his cards growing up. Um, but I had a relationship with him after that. You know, Pernell Whitaker was when I won my sixth world, my, my sixth time, my sixth time winning the championship of the world, Pernell Whitaker was my coach. He was in my oh. coach. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. Yeah. So he was my coach at the end. And um I turned I started out with him, had my pro my, my pro my pro debut with him and you know. Yeah, that's my man. Wow. Wow. And it, so, so, yeah. I mean, you you've been around a lot of these kind of legends coming up, right? Learning from them. Facts, big facts. That's dope. Dope. Um, wow. Is who? Is there anybody else at, at that caliber that that, that you yeah, learn from? Pernell. I got left main events. Then I went with we went with uh. I start. I traveled the world with Tyson. Me and Mike. You. you right. I well, assume no, you never moved around I, with I Mike. Know, I, I went with King first, and the other King we went and moved around Mike. Wow! Yeah, you were telling me it would be crazy being on Mike's under fighting with Mike, right? Traveling with him and stuff. Uh, <laughs> crazy! <laughs> a fucking it's not it's, it's nothing like nothing like what goes on today. Like crazy. No, it's crazy. Just, yeah. Maybe <laughs> maybe 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 Canelo maybe Canelo got some of that some of the little you think? Tyson. Yeah. yeah, when he fights, his his weigh-ins and things like that. But my shit, go back and no. look. Yeah, look, go back and look. It was stupid, yo. We were shutting down countries. We was going to different countries, <laughs> London, wow. uh, Scotland, Ireland. Like we was going to half of the country be, be at the airport. Like I'm like I I'm seeing shit like oh this is crazy. This is like wow. this is crazy. Yeah. So you were just. You would just yeah. touch down, and there'd be a whole bunch of people there waiting. Waiting. They knew we wow. Coming. Wow. That's dope. nuts. It was dope, though. Amazing. It was great. Yeah, yeah. I can imagine. Um, so, I'm let me ask you. I'm, 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 we fought in Scotland, Ireland, and we had people, they were sleeping outside of our hotel. So, like, we used to get up and run in the morning. We would get up early and run in the morning, and they would, they would be there. This one, they, this one, Mike for Stavros. It was uh, uh, it was uh, they was they was they was right there. Yeah, fans would run with us and all that. Crazy. Wow, that's insane, man. Um, yeah, Tyson mm -hmm. was you know, and Tyson was one of those guys that he he didn't have to put on a show. He didn't have to go throw money around. He just was himself, and he just attracted people mainly because of how much of a monster he was inside the ring what he did it was just he tried to it was just because of his because of his boxing ability that's it people people was people was you know that was like a it was like a uh an, an attraction like you've never seen before coming from boxing you know what i mean people was, people was like like a mike tyson fight i was young i was very young i was young i was a kid but i remember all the people used to you know get get up and 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 start getting ready, and start getting ready to go to a Tyson fight. They would get dressed, they'd be shopping, they'd be doing all that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this in the early days, and then later on in my life, I caught up with all that. I caught up with it, and I was able to. I was able to get a. I got a. I got a bunch of. I was Galata, Alvarez, all the Nora, a lot of all that. When Mike came home from jail, all of that. I was on all of that. I was. Wow. I was with him, and it was. You it know was what? I remember. When he came home from jail, he was oh my god, he was the biggest. Yeah, <laughs> he, 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 yeah. Remember the news followed him every. The first thing he did, everything. The first place he went, the first thing yeah. he ate, it, everything. Yeah, yeah. It was on him. It was on him. Yeah, yeah. He, 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 was, he, was, he had the kufi on, on and everything. Yeah, yeah. It was. It was. It was. It was amazing. So to be a part of that history right there, I'm, I'm just appreciative, appreciative and happy, and you know. Yeah, man. Thanks. You know who I was with, you know I was with last Thanks night? I have a brother like that. Who? Uh, uh, Donnie Lalonde. Remember him? 
Johnny Lalan. Yeah. Golden I'm boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. How's he doing? He's good, man. He's in New York. They're doing this this charity thing at Gleason's uh, Saturday. Nice. Glad yeah, he asked, he asked about you, but I was like, nah, you live nice. in California. Yeah, yeah nice. Yeah. nice. Nice. Yeah, send my, send my love. Donnie, what's up? <laughs> yeah, Donnie, man, he could, he could punch. He could punch. I didn't, he was yeah. telling me that Ray Leonard, I don't know if you knew this, when he, when he, when he stopped him, crushed his larynx. Like, crushed it to where he almost couldn't breathe and they had to do surgery. Mm. He does some shit. Damn. I didn't know that. Yeah, right? I didn't know that either. But, you know, they're still friends to this day. Um, so. Nah, Ray. Ray Leonard is a, lo a lovable, 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 lovable guy. I love yeah. Ray Leonard. That's yeah, Ray Leonard's a good dude. Yeah, Ray Leonard's a good dude. Um, yeah. I'm cool with his yeah. son, too, Ray Leonard Jr. Yeah, he is. my guy, too. He's another, another great guy, good energy. You know, Ray, Ray Leonard, no matter what, whenever you get around him, his energy just lights the room up. Yeah. It's crazy, right? Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he has that. Yeah. He has that, that factor. Yeah, that's, I mean, he was one yeah. of the biggest draws in boxing. Ever. OG. Super OG. He was super the OG. Super, super respectful. Gold, super respectful. Metal. I think his pro debut, he was making hundreds of thousands back in the 70s. He was, a, he was the first golden boy. First one. <laughs> remember. Remember. He was, he was the first golden boy. It was him. Yeah. Him. That's the first golden boy. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 Um, yeah. So what do you think about the, the, the 35 slash 40 pound weight class? Who do you think? Is the top dog between you know we got Haney Tank, um, uh, Shakur. Who do you see there? Who do you think is is one of the top is the top dog out of all those guys? If anybody. I mean, no, there is. I don't. I don't, I don't see not not one man being superior over the other until they fight. You know what I'm saying? You can't make that position until these guys step in the ring and fight. These are all young talent. The 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 cream of the crop, the cream de la cream. You know what I'm saying? Right. All. Right. Every man that you, every man that you mention, you know what I'm saying, has the ability to become the greatest. You, you, you know, you know what I'm saying. I mean, you know, tanks, dynamite, different ferocious punching power. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Devin Haney's boxing ability and speed and skills. Shakur, Shakur Stevens' boxing ability and ring IQ. You know what I'm saying. I always tell people all the time, if you watch Shakur, he has ring IQ of a genius, of a fucking expert. Watch him. Watch how he, how he put punches together to the head, to the body, to the head, to the head, and then step around and do the shit, spin. Like, he's amazing with the shit, you know what I'm saying? And forget about Devin. Devin boxing ability is shit is fucking, it's been proven 30 times. I don't give a fuck what nobody well, said. It's been proven. It's been proven. 30 times. You know well, let me, ask, <laughs> let me ask you this, though, man. Given Tiafimo's last performance, yeah. does he belong back in and, there? And yeah, yeah, Tiafimo. Well, all of these guys, see, once you touch that, once you touch that, that bar of, of 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 success, and you touch that bar of a championship, and you feel how it feels to be in that room, and you and 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 once upon a time that was your room, you know that comfortability, you search for that feeling all over again. And if you that dog that you say you are, and you tell the people you are, then that's gonna come out. If that, mm. that should make sense. Yeah, it makes that should make sense. Yeah. The yeah. ones, the ones that don't get back to that. Level, Level, it was never in them. They they got the some people some people sneak in the room. Sorry, guy. I mean, some people sneak in the room. That's it. And then there's some people that belong in the room. Okay. And there's some people that okay. own that motherfucking room. <laughs> you got wrenches. You got owners. <laughs> yeah. Think yeah. about it. Think yeah. about it. You got wrenches. You got owners. You know what I'm saying? What are you? <laughs> Yeah, no, that's, that's true. That's, that's, that's I mean, you know? I think I think Tio is Tio definitely is right there with all of them. Um, hundred percent, hundred percent. But here, Brooklyn, here, Brooklyn boy, any, 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 any can fight. That's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, he grew up in Florida, but that's you know, he is his pops. I think is from Brooklyn. He was born in Brooklyn, I think. Yeah, um, but listen, man. Listen, I know that's like saying Jordan not from Brooklyn. Come on, <laughs> same thing. Come on, same thing. You jacking it all. You was you was born in that borough. You had that the first that first water you had shot in your body, or that water you put that you washed up with was that Brooklyn water. I keep telling people, boy, it's not about that Brooklyn water. It's something, it's something different about it. It's something, 
It's something different about that Brooklyn water. Especially when it first touched you as a baby. Oh, man. When that's the first thing you come out and you drink on and sip on and get it washed with your clothes washed with that. It's a different. I'll tell you, different. the Hell's Kitchen water I grew up with was rusty and was garbage. But look that's who you are. Look, look who you are. Look at the look at the man that it made. Well, thank you. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah. But, you know, as you get I older. You. Uh, I know you. These people. You know, some of them might not know. I know you. You know what I'm saying? Great guy. Appreciate you. You know what I mean? It's you. You know? Yeah. Um, but now, Tio, though, Tio said that he's retiring. Retired. Excuse me. Do you, you uh, think that's going to stick? Very, 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 very young guy. But it seems like he got his mind made up. It seems like he got his business affairs in order. And listen, one thing about where I come from, you got to believe when people say something up. They mouth, you know what I'm saying? You gotta believe it. I heard people in the hood tell my brother, be right here when I get back. Watch, <laughs> watch why be, be right here. I'm gonna put a ticket to Joe. Like, man, get the you get the hell out of yeah. here. And they stand there. Okay, doesn't, so one thing doesn't I end well. Face, but when people say when people say stuff like that, you gotta, I don't know. Listen, so far the man is showing us he gave his belts up, he gave his gave all his gave all the shit back. Did did and did so you he, ever listen, did you ever go through that in your career when you no, were younger? No, no, no. So Marvin Hagler was one of my idols. Uh -huh. Marvin Hagler was one of my idols. And the thing he stood for, he said, when I, when I walk away from this one time, that's it. It's done. I ain't walking away, ain't coming back and doing none of that. Well, Marvin Hagler was probably, he is probably one of the only fighters in, in, in history that I know that was at the top, the top of the game, one of the legends. And when he felt that he took a fit, man, I'm out of here. When they did him dirty, he walked away from the game. Game the deuces and never came back. Look at it. History. Check it. Check back. Oh, I know. I know. Well, let me ask I'm you this, though. If you, didn't, if you didn't have the brain thing in your last fight, you think you would have kept going? I still be fucking niggas up, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, you knew how to get me. <laughs> Boy, I still be spanking these boys down. You know that. You know that, Marco. You already uh, know it. You already know it. <laughs> so you still you still get that itch to get in there? Uh, um, yeah, you know, sometimes. I mean, I work out all the time. I work out all the time. So um Do you spar you or, or the Do you spar or the doctor said you gotta chill? No, 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 I can spar. I can, oh, you I can? can spar and all that. Yeah, I can spar and all that. I spar my sons. I'm I know. I bet you Didi does not like that sparring, no, though. She probably does. No, not even Didi. My mama. Your mom, too? <laughs> yeah, my mom don't play that. She don't play that. And yeah. my dad. My dad don't like that either. I'm like that. Nah. So, no, I don't call nobody but my kids. I can tell my sons. That's it. But I don't break. Right. My, son, my sons get busy. Just just, just know that. I know. I spawn with them, teaching them. Yeah. I'm not teaching them, spawn with them. I'm telling you, they get busy. And so, who's that? Yeah. Would you... Would you You'd be okay with them being fighters? If they choose to be. If they if, if they came and showed me the dignity it takes and the and the dedication that it takes to be a fighter, yeah. Yeah. See, I don't I, I don't well, I, the thought of my son getting hit, I think I'd have to jump in there. Like if it when it was me it was different, but seeing my child, I don't really like it. I didn't think you I'd never, be that way, but I don't like so, it. So so here's the bit see see the reason why I said they would have to be willing and show me that they really could possess and do this, then I would feed the fire, you know what I'm saying? But it's never my first will to push them and be like, yo, I need you to be a fighter because I was that too. No, none of that. I don't do none of that with my sons. I don't know. They do boxing because they ask me. They ask you, that George, so, so I show them, I teach them, but I never, it's no show them, oh, hey, hey, go to Golden Gloves, hey, go to, no, I don't, none of that shit. Nah, I don't, I'm sure they got their own acting careers. Those guys got businesses. So it's different, you know what I mean. So, you know, no, but if they if they came to me and they and they uh and they and they showed me that they wanted to do it, then yeah, I how was definitely uh, uh feed, feed, how was it with you coming up when you were coming up? Was was your pops like you're fighting or did you choose to? So we had a we had a different upbringing. Our upbringing was the 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 gym was a savior. You know, my father my father got uh, eleven boys. I got like eleven boys. Wow. At the time, it was like at the time, it was like five of us, four of us. It was like four big ones and then one little one. You know what I'm saying? So it was like it was five boys. So 
But he said, I got to do something with my boys to keep my boys. We were living in Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? He's like, yo, I got to keep my son up the street. Like he, so the gym, every day, my father, like, you know, once we started going to school and all that, we had to report to the gym every single day after school. And you had a certain time you had to be there. So he knew you left school and you came straight to the gym. All that outside getting out there. He didn't believe in us having extra time to be hanging out with the homies and going to fun, because that's how trouble starts. So we had to be at it, and if you wasn't there at a certain time, you had to run laps, you had to spar, you had to do shit that wow. you didn't want to do. Yeah, okay. you know what I mean? So so that's how my pops kind of kept kept holding us. And then from keeping us in the gym, that did what? That made us great young men and great fighters. So that made us excel to the next level. So, that, so when tournaments came up, I kept winning, I kept winning, I kept winning. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, my amateur record, my amateur record was 115 wins and five losses. That's, you know what I'm saying? I kept winning and kept winning and kept winning and kept winning and kept winning. You know what I'm saying? Just knocking shit down. You know what I mean? So, you know, it was a, it was a, it was a, it was a great situation. But and because of that, because of having that type of record and that type of ability, I wanted to be in the gym every day. I had to be there. You know what I mean? So that was. Do you the like thing to, about that? I love yeah. it. So do you have do you have any stuff. sisters? Huh? Do you have sisters? Or just all brothers. I got, I got, I got four sisters. How many siblings are there? Yeah. So, yeah. So all that. It's so all that. It's uh, like fifteen. So it's, so it's total with me. I have ten brothers and four sisters. Yep. Holy shit! Yep. Damn. That was a packed yeah. house. Gangster. Damn. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then. Yeah. That's that's crazy. Um, uh, so you were saying, right? We were talking earlier. You were saying that this is the anniversary, right? Five years since the brain surgery, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So coming up, it's gonna be. Yeah, man, it's gonna be five years. Five years coming up on the eighth of this month. Yeah, because I don't, I don't think a lot of people know what you went through. I don't even know. I don't even know what's going. Right. On. It's, 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 yeah. Like you almost died. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. You 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 fought somebody who who was dirty. And mm -hmm. PDs. And PDs, and you ended up catching what was it a, a, a blood clot or what was it? Um, um, it was it was a it was a, it was a brain a brain hemorrhage a brain hemorrhage. hemorrhage. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. So brain hemorrhage where the the pressure. Get from the right side, started exploding to the left side, and over here you just see the big cut. And then, oh, you know what? I just wanna. And 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 uh, it uh, uh yeah, shit, shit just bust open. Wow. And then, so you had to go into like emergency surgery right there. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna get emergency surgery on on July eighth. So the fight was June eighth. One one month later, I walked up down the street after I got out the hospital, after the coma, after all that, and I felt like and on July eighth, I felt five years ago, I felt like some, like some, I felt like some some shit was coming out of my, my head. Mm. <laughs> and it was coming out, out right now, right now on the spot, right now, and, and nothing was stopping it. Wow, wow! But you made a full recovery. Um, full recovery. Yeah, that's great. I, I mean, I mean, no, I can't say I can't say for recovery. I just, uh, I still go, I still have my days. Like so, my days. What happens? What do you feel when you have this? Um, the different stuff, headaches. Right, that's why you start smoking a lot more weed, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so marijuana, marijuana, is, you know, is is is, is a known fact is. It was great for me. It was great for me. It slowed down my, uh, slowed down the, uh, uh, the headaches and stuff like that. I'm looking for something too while I'm looking down. Um, um, it slowed down the headaches and I don't get headaches like that no more. And, you know, what the craziness that I was going through. And, uh, right. Uh, yeah, man. It's, you know, but like I said, I ain't going to, no, no cap. God has been, God has, but when I say God is, been in in my life and helped me out and i've been really touched bro like the way i am right now 
you know, people say, you know, I ain't put, you know, my doctors say I ain't supposed to be like this. I'm yeah. To bend. You know, people know, people know when you go open somebody's head up. I'm gonna try to show you. Yeah. I'm trying to find the fucking pencil. Well, when you go to open somebody's head up and you touch the brain, you always got complications. You know, right. complications. You watch people that have brain surgeries and things like that. You know, they gotta have rehabilitation. Some people gotta learn how to walk, talk. You know, you didn't, you didn't eat. It's, you didn't need any of that, I right? Do, I didn't anything. I mean, you know, the most high blessed me, the ability to get up, you know, and, you know, I, you know, I had short remembrance at the time of what happened. And then, you know, as time went on, it's crazy to say, as time went on, shit started coming back. It just started coming back. Like, I just started remembering, like, the fight, the days after the fight, the, the conversations, the shit was crazy. Yeah. Right. Wow. Where the hell is this picture at, yo? What are you looking I for? I'm looking for a picture to show you my brain. Oh, shit. I have my brain. Nigga said, oh, shit. Because, no, because people, a lot of people never seen it. They don't, they're like, people don't, people, I keep saying brain surgery. They're probably like, what? Okay, yeah, I don't think a lot of people on. know that that happened to you. Nah. I, I know a lot of people don't know. I know. Yeah. I have friends, family, business partners, people that I meet, like, what? Brains? Yeah. So, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Um, what, um, in so, in, 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 I guess, in wrapping it up a little bit, what are your thoughts on Inuway versus Fulton? Oh, cool, cool boy? Yep. Cool boy in Inuway. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be a good fight. I like cool boy stuff. I think he you got think the he's gonna win? skills. Yeah, he got the skills to pull it off. Anyway, he's a very tough fighter. He's gonna come, gonna bring it. But I think that his aggressiveness might be the factor why that that works against him. Oh, really? If that should make sense. Yeah, you think you think Cool Boy's just gonna box him? Oh, yeah, why not? That, that that's a smart a smart plan, right? Yeah, it's interesting. I, I think people love Inouye also because you you usually don't get hard punchers at that weight class. So right, 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 right. But but he's definitely he's a real hard puncher, you know. Um, so it'll be it'll be fun. I heard though that he I don't think he's ever fought outside of Japan, right? I don't know. I don't even know. I don't that, even know. I'm pretty I'm sure. Not, that... I'm not. I'm not. I'm not really. Um. Um. I'm not really. Um. Familiar with his career like that, I just seen him fight a couple of times, and he's always yeah. been he's always been dope. You know what I'm saying, Ricky? What's up, Rick? Yeah, I'm, I'm not familiar with that much either, but I've heard that he's not really fought outside of Japan, which his yeah. competition's been limited. Oh, but that's true. There you go. You found it? Uh, I don't know. Wait, here's a picture from from the hospital. Oh shit. Wait a minute, where is my, I found my head, man. That's crazy. So, shit. Um, you trying to find that, the surgery? Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Mama loves to say the, the day. I love that, I love that lady. Look. Ooh. That was my head. Look. Damn. And that's your right side? Right here. Yeah. That's your left. Yeah, right side. Damn. Look, hey, you don't really see it. Look how good God is. Yeah, look right. Look how good right. God is, y'all. Look how good God. Look at God. Look at God. Yeah, look at, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> <laughs> boy, yeah, uh, boy, I'm trying to tell you. That's dope. Lord, yeah, man, I'm for you. Who could be against you? I am yeah. glad yeah. that, you know, five yeah. years ago, <laughs> And so five years old, so on the eighth, so June eighth, he got two days, and man, man, I just thank God, I'm very happy, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, thank you, because you know we here talking, having conversations, when you could be, you could be, we could be having a morning right now, I mean morning, the losses that Judah five right. years now, and then God said nope. We're gonna be here to talk about it and save another yep. life. 
Yep, you know yep, I mean? yep. Let's get let's get let's, let's get a game back. You know what I mean? Let's get a game back. You know what I'm saying? And rest in peace to all the fighters that came after me and was gone with me, going through the same struggle with the brain and rhythm things, and they, you know, that didn't make it. You know what I'm saying? Um, rest in peace to those guys. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Patrick everybody Day. Went through, everybody, yeah, Patrick Day. Everybody that went through the struggles, man. You know? Yeah. And and now you're uh. You're you're working with BLK Prime, right? You're putting on some some documentaries, some TV stuff yeah, going on, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we're doing we doing television stuff right now, and, and you know, we still we still in the boxing. We still in the boxing. You know, what I'm saying BLK definitely. We still got boxing going on, and you know, we're doing uh, television shows right now. Be on the lookout for the uh, for the uh, uh, Shig Knight, uh, uh, Shig Knight. Uh, Think the right name for it. I want. <laughs> I keep misquoting things. <laughs> death, death row. The shit. The shit. Yeah, yeah. The shit night. Uh, death row story. So, be on the lookout for that. And uh, yeah, got a lot of cool things coming too. Dope, man. Well, be man, thank Prime. Thanks for talking to me. Appreciate yeah. it. Um, yeah. and let's let let's talk soon. All right, my guy. All right, peace. Thanks, man.